So I chose to talk about how to find the potential function from a vector field. Um, so I created a couple problems um, that hopefully are somewhat unique. Um, one that where when you find your C values you will actually not get in a like term and in one of them you actually will only get in a like term. So to start this off we're going to uh, make sure that this is uh, conservative. So we have our M right here and then our N um, to represent uh, which groups we'll use. Um, so then we take the partial derivative of m with respect to y. Um, for this, the y is going to drop out and you're going to end up with 6x. Um, then we will take the partial derivative of n with respect to x. And for this one, the 2 will carry to the 3 and you will also end up with 6x. So this shows that these are indeed conservative because um, they are equal. So now we are going to uh, find the two segments that go together to make our potential function. In order to do that, we find f of x, y, which is equal to the integral of f of x of x, y, which if you remember, um, f of x of x, y is this first portion, your m, um, before you take the partial derivative, and then your f of y of x, y will be this portion. So this is dx, which then we will get the integral of 6xy dx, which then if we add power to the x and divide by the 2, this will actually um, bring that 6 down to a 3. So we'll end up with 3x squared y. And then we also have to add our plus c1 of y. So the next part is to find the integral of the f of y portion, dy. So then we will do the integral of 3x squared dy, which for this, you're just gonna add a y into this, which will give us 3x squared y, and then also your plus c2 of x. And as you can see, this is the one that will give you just one like term. So for c1 of y, um, the only difference between these, which there really isn't one, will be your k. And for c2 of x, you will do the same thing, and this will also be k. So when you go to write your potential function, which we'll put over here, this is going to be equal to f x y, which is equal to your 3x squared y, your like term, and then your c1, c2, which is just k. Okay, so now the next one we have here, um, then it, once again, we're gonna start off making sure that this is conservative, so we have our m and our n. So we take the partial derivative of m with respect to y, which is equal to, let's see, um, there is no y here, so when we take the partial derivative, this is just gonna be zero. Um, and then when we do the partial derivative of n with respect to x, there is no x in this function, so this will also be zero. So you know that this is conservative. So we're going to do the same thing that we did before, and we are going to find the integral of f of x of xy and fy of xy. So we'll start off with fx, and we'll put a dx there, which is equal to the integral of this portion, remember, um, which is 2x squared dx, which then is equal to, let's see, we are going to raise the power on this, divide by 3, so you'll end up with 2 thirds x cubed plus your c1 of y. Then we will move on to the next step where we take the integral of fy of xy dy, which is equal to the integral of a negative 2y squared dy which then if we raise the power of the y and divide by three again, we'll end up with a negative two thirds y cubed plus, and don't forget the c2 of x. So our c1 of y is going to be equal to this because you don't have that up here. So it's the um, term that is not like. So negative two thirds y cubed and then plus your k. And then for C2 of X, that is going to equal this um, portion right here, which is your 2 thirds X cubed, and then also your plus K. 
So now when um, we're in the potential function, if we had an alike term that we left out when writing the uh, what our c values equal, then we would add that first, and then we would add whatever was in your c1 and your c2 and make sure you add k on to the end. But in this case, we don't have a, an alike term, so we can just start with either one. Um, in this case, I'll start with c2 with the positive. So I'll do 2 thirds of x cubed, and then minus 2 thirds of y cubed. And then to finish it off, 